What is the cheapest light money can buy for filmmaking? Now I know this is probably a very loaded question, but I know I got you thinking a little bit. Now in order to answer this loaded question, there are a few factors that come into play. One being, is the light actually easy to use? Do you know how to use the light and do you know all the, the bells and the whistles in order to get the best out of this light? Two, is the light portable? Can you take it wherever you need to go on a film set? Can you actually shove it into the back of your car trunk so that it doesn't fall out. <laughs> and number three, I'd say the most important thing, is the light actually reliable? Is it powerful? Does it have a good enough light source to light your subject or subjects in a scene? Is it reliable in that it doesn't quit out at you at random times? And does it perform at its best the entire time? So I headed out to Walmart, on a mission to try and find the cheapest yet most effective light I could possibly find. So here's that. What's up guys? We're at um, Walmart <laughs> um, and we're shopping for lights. I found a few here. There's like light strips. There's like light bulbs, which doesn't really work for us. Well, for Light bulbs don't really work for me because I don't have anything to you put. You don't know how to use them. I, I don't know how to use them, but also <laughs> I don't have anything to put a light bulb on. Like a lamp or something. So I'm getting this thing, which is a complete... Yeah, it is very cool. And so I think we're going to go with this one. So only $10. Complete steal. Bye. Bye, guys. I have the light right here. It's It plugs in by a USB. And it's got a couple of features that I think are worth noting. You can get an app on your phone to control this light, which actually works really, really well. From my experience, it connects immediately through Bluetooth. There's a bunch of settings that you can mess with and also my personal favorite, this color wheel that you can slide around to get more specific colors if you don't like the, the presets that are given to you. You can make the light flash a bunch of different colors, change the speed and the brightness on the light all through the app. You can also play any music you want through the app and the light will change color based off the music. So there's a lot of things that you can do. And hopefully you've seen through the footage that I've shown of this light, its quality and its brightness, it's not the brightest thing in the world. You get what you get for $10. You get the full customizability through the app. You have a remote that comes with it if you don't happen to have a phone. If you want a light that's very chill, very tuned down, that gives you a little more atmosphere, a little more light to your image, I think this is definitely worth the buy. Now, what does this all mean? What is, what is what's the point of this video? Why are you probably asking why did I make this um, video in the first place? Well, first of all, I wanted to show you since the beginning, the cheapest light you can possibly find. And not only do I have this light now, which is worth $10, I do also have an, a very easy to use, very portable, and most of all, very reliable light that is pretty much always at my own hands. And you probably know what I'm talking about. Yep, it's the, it's the sun. <laughs> I'm sure you don't hear much word in terms of filmmaking about the sun being the primary light source for shooting. But yes, that is the main light source. And if you don't believe me, check this out. You can, you know, you can say that I'm an amateur <laughs> when it comes to filmmaking. You can say that I'm insane, absolutely insane, that I'm using sunlight, the harsh light from the sky that is so unpredictable all the time as my main light source. Well, let me tell you, it's all I've got. And I think that's pretty good to start with. The sun, it's very sharp, it's very harsh a lot of the time when there's not many clouds in the sky, and it's important to note when that is the case, I usually shoot away from the sun, or otherwise known as shooting in the shadow, and that's usually the solution you should go for. I could show you all these pretty lights that you could buy for all this money um, forever. I could do that for hours or maybe I can't because I don't have enough money for it. You see all these people going out and getting the next best thing, the next best equipment, 
all the time, every single day, at least I do, on the filmmaking side of YouTube. And I'm not saying this like, like I've never done this before. I'm constantly looking for new lenses and new cameras that I may not buy, but I'm always dreaming about getting the next best thing and getting that slight more quality in my videos, which, if you think about it, doesn't really matter in the end. It's not about all the expensive equipment. It's not about getting the next best huge announced camera, this new lens or whatever. Sure, those are nice, but it won't make you a better filmmaker. It's not about what you have. It's about what you make with what you have. It's about the creativity and the mind and the artistry that you use and that you put into what you have to make something beautiful. And that's all I really have to say. So take that for what you will and I'll see you next Sunday. Have a good one.